Hi everybody and welcome to my channel Arruste Bene Mangia. Remember, if you like this video or our other videos, make sure you hit the like button and please subscribe and please share it so we can give it out to everybody. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make very, very simply an easy way to make cappicollo. Cappicollo is usually made from the front part of the, the neck of the, of the uh, pork, but you can also use the loin, which you can buy in Costco, okay? So using it this way, it's, it's more lean, so you don't have more of the uh, fat, like the, the marbling in it. Uh, that's why when you do go get it at Costco, see if you can get one with, that's got some nice fat on it too, and that'll give you a little bit of the marbling. So this is more called Lonzino, and they do this one more in Northern Italy. And uh, so it's very, very simple. It's just like, uh, uh, honest to God, three, four step process. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut it into the pieces that we want, okay, the sizes that we want. And once we do that, then we will take it and we'll do a salt brine on it and we'll let it sit for three days. So let's just cut it. So you wanna make sure that when you do cut it, you don't cut them too short. I'm gonna get this off here because I've already dried it up after I've washed it in cold water. So the way I do it is I usually make them about eight, nine inches, okay? And so we'll make one cut here. There's one, okay? You see how more lean it is? And we'll throw it in our basket. And then Two here. Cut that off. See that? And I leave this fat on, okay? And I'll show you after it's after we do the uh, the brining why, okay? Three, two, and then I'm gonna make my third piece. I'm gonna keep some here just for some steaks. So we'll do one of them like that because these are thicker. I'm going to keep this one up, make some steaks and eat some pork tonight. Move that there. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do, so the first thing is you're going to wash it. Once you take it out of the bag, wash it under the sink, cold water only, not too much water, but just get all the, the blood and stuff that you can out of it. And then what we're going to do now is we're gonna salt it, and then we're gonna let it sit for three days under salt. Now what happens when it is in the salt, you will notice that the water will start, the salt draws the water out. But after the second day, it's like it disappears the water again, it sucks it back in. And I don't know where it goes, it just goes back into the meat, but the meat becomes more solid also. Uh, so uh, we're gonna salt it up, Again, just like every other ones of my videos, I always tell you to make sure that you don't be cheap on the salt. Uh, you don't need to be measuring. There's these all these people that are doing these other videos where they go and they measure exactly. It's got to be 0.0 this, 0.0. No, you don't have to do it. Listen, my mother, my father, when they were in Sicily, my grandparents, they never had all these things that you had to measure and find out how much exactly humidity. No. And so this, I like doing things the old way. And to be honest with you, everybody that tastes my stuff tells me, oh my God, this, this, this is just killer. So we're gonna salt them up. And like I said, don't be cheap on the salt. And make sure that if you wanna see my other videos, there's how to make pancetta, prosciutto, uh, Italian sausage, the Sicilian sausage. I also have videos on pastas, different kinds of sauces to make. So I'm doing this so I can get it all over it, okay? And just work in that salt. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, sur a saran wrap, uh, which is the plastic wrapping. I'm going to put it over there. I'm going to put it in a cool place. If you want to put it in your fridge, you can put it in your fridge. 
Uh, here it's still winter time and my garage is nice and cool. It's probably plus one, plus two inside the garage. So it's just perfect. And I'm gonna let it sit for two and a half, three days, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the rest. Okay, we'll see you then. Okay, so we now have done the three days in the salt. So we've let it sit in the brine and uh, you can see that they've toughened out now. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna wash them uh, in the sink. I'm gonna rinse them down, take the salt off, as much salt as I can, rinse them in cold water, and then we'll come back and then we'll start uh, with the wine bath, okay? Okay, so now I've rinsed them off, nice and clean. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the wine, use any wine, I just use my dad's old wine. And you're gonna give them a little wine bath. And you make sure that you're getting it all on. Now the wine is important because it's a preservative, so just like your black pepper, it avoids you getting mold on your meat. Now, a little bit of the mold you're always gonna get, you can just wipe it off, just keep an eye on it every few days. It's not gonna kill you, you don't want it to turn all mold. So we're not going to rinse the wine off. What we're going to do is we're going to pat dry them. See what you're left with there. Nice piece of meat. And it starts to soften out now. You can is obviously you've, you've wet it, so it's gonna be a little softer, so don't let that worry you. <clears throat> now you notice I left a little bit of fat on this one, okay? So if I had more fat, like they do have the fat in the back of them, so I'm leaving those on. So when you do cut it, it gives that little bit of extra flavor to it. Okay, so we're gonna leave that fat on there. Now we've done that. Okay, now that we are got those all dried, we're gonna put them back in the pan here again. Now we're going to start putting our spices on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our black pepper as usual. Again, don't be cheap on it. Make sure you get it everywhere. Okay, so now we got our black pepper done and they're all nicely peppered up. Now, you, if you don't want to, you don't have to, but I usually do just to give it a, that little bit of color. So I'll give it a little, just a little sprinkle of uh, the paprika. It really doesn't do much for flavor, but it does change the color of it. color so remember it's not real true capicolo because the true capicolo is done from the neck but it still tastes pretty good too
And our last one we're gonna put is our chili pepper, crushed chilies. And there we have it. Three real nice pieces of capicolo. Okay, so now the next thing I'm gonna do, normally I buy the intestines, the, the, the real ones uh, for this, but I'm, tried, I'm gonna try something a little different there. So you can go to your butcher and buy the, it's, it's like a papery, uh, intestine type of duo. So what I did is I took it, I split them in half. They usually use these for soprestatas, but I split them in half so I get a piece like that, right? I dip them in the water. I'm gonna have them in the water for a while. So what I'll do is I'm going to Lay one down, like so. And I'm gonna take my capicolo, and I'm gonna roll it up, just like that. And we wanna give it a bit more on the ends so we can Tie that up and have it closed up. Okay, once I'm done this, then I'll take my string and I'll wrap it up and then I'll see you right after that. Okay, so I have now tied it all up nice and tight. Okay, so I've wrapped it. And the next thing we're gonna do is you're going to go and we're gonna put the mesh on there, okay? This comes in a roll. Again, you can get this at your butcher supply, okay? It's expensive, but it's the easier way of doing it. Um, so pretty simple. You're gonna put it on just like a sock. You can do it this way, or you can use it with uh, a coffee can where you would put the, cut both sides of the coffee can out, throw the, and put this on the end, and then Throw this in and away you go and, you, and it would go through but we're just going to put it through like a sock it ain't. just like that that simple <clears throat> okay isn't that nice So then we're just going to tie off the ends. Okay, so then what I do is I'll just cut that, cut off the excess, like so. Like that, and you're left with a nice piece of capicolo. So, uh, like I said, I use these hooks. I like using these hooks rather than using string and stuff. I'll put this, and I get these at uh, Lowe's or Canadian Tire. You can buy them anywhere there. They're in the paint department. They're a pack of five or six for like three, four bucks. They work awesome. Uh, and I use them for sausage. I use them for my prosciutto, for anything that I make. So what I do is I just put it through like that. And then we're going to let it hang for two months in a nice cool uh, place. If you wanna hang it in your fridge, you could hang it in your fridge too. Uh, I use my garage, cause it's just the perfect uh, temperature for it in the winter time. And uh, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Very simple to do. Don't be afraid. Uh, it's not what a lot of these other videos show that you have to do all this, uh, uh, checking for your uh, humidity and all that. No, 
as long as you put a little bit, if, if, if you're in your garage and you don't have any water circulating anywhere, I've got aquariums and stuff, but if you have uh, a pail of water, I would get like a five gallon pail of water, half, fill it halfway, leave it underneath them, and that's more than enough. And just keep an eye on it every, every so often. If you start seeing some of the, a little bit of the mold coming on it, just go and wipe it off with a, with a uh, not a damp rag, but just a regular rag dry cloth, and that's it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you again on the next one. Okay, so now we have them nicely hanging, and we're going to let them hang now for two months, and that'll be it. Hope you enjoy.